हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 2.12 फ्रॉम द चैप्टर 2 द वर्किंग फ्लूइड फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मिकोंकी statement of the problem is a quantity of a certain perfect gas is compressed from an initial state of 0.085 cubic meter one bar to a final state of 0.034 cubic meter 3.9 bar the specific heat at constant volume is 0.724 kJ per kg per kelvin and the specific heat at constant pressure is 1.020 kJ per kg per kelvin the absorbed temperature rise is 146 kelvin calculate the specific gas constant r the mass of the gas present and the increase of internal energy of the gas so first of all we will uh, write the given data we have given the initial state and the final state one is used for initial state while two is used for final state so v1 is 0.085 cubic meter t1 is 1 bar final volume v2 is 0.034 cubic meter pressure p2 is 3. 9 bar specific heat at constant volume is that is the value of cv is 0.724 kJ per kg per kelvin and the value of specific heat at constant pressure is cp is equal to 1.020 kJ per kg per kelvin the absorbed temperature rise is t2 minus t1 is 146 kelvin we are required to find three quantities in this problem first specific gas constant which is r second the mass of the gas present m and third increase of internal energy of the gas that is u2 minus u1 so to find the value of r starting the solution the relationship r is equal to cp minus cv can be used so we also know about the values of cp and cv just putting these values in this expression and you will find the value of r so cp value is 1.020 and the value of cv is 0.724 so subtracting it you will get the value of r and it comes out 0.296 kilojoule per kilogram 
per kilo. So this is the required solution of part one. Second, we are interested to find the value of m. So to find the value of m, we can use the expression p1 v1 is equal to m r t1. So it is when we rearrange it for m, we will get the expression m is equal to p1 v1 over r t1. So let's suppose this is expression A. Here P1, V1 and R are known to us. But the value of T1 is unknown. So first we will find the value of T1. And after that we will use that value in this expression. And then we are uh, able to find the value of N. So let's first find the value of T1. So for that we will need the state equation state equation 1 and state equation 2 just like in previous problem 2.11 we will have final expression for T2 and this expression can be used to find the value of T2 first in terms of T1. So directly using that expression T2 is equal to P2 V2 over P1 V1 into T1. So if we put the values P2 is 3.9 bar v2 is 0 0.034 p1 is 1 bar v1 is 0 0.085 cubic meter into t1 because we don't have t1 we are interested to find its value the value of t2 will come out in terms of T1. So T2 is equal to 1.56 times T1. So now we know that the change in temperature that is the rise in temperature T2 minus T1 is equal to 146 Kelvin. As it is stated in the problem above that the change in the rise is 146 Kelvin represented by T2 minus T1. So here if we replace T2 by 1.56 times T1 so we can write it like this 1.56 times T1 minus T1 is equal to 146. Now it's easy to find the value of T1. So T1 is equal to 146. 1.56 minus 1 is 0 0.56. So the value of T1 comes out 261 Kelvin. Now using this value of T1 in the above expression A, all other quantities are known to us. So expression A will become M is equal to directly putting the values m is equal to p1 is 1 bar converting bar into pascal into 
uh, V1 is 0 0.085 cubic meter. The value of R is calculated above and it is 0 0.296 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram. Also converting it to joule per kilogram per kilogram, we will multiply it to the power 3. And the value of T1 is calculated over here, it is 261 kN. So if we simplify this, the value of M comes out 0 0.11 kg. So this is the required solution of part 2. Now to find the value of rise in internal energy or increase of internal energy for that again we can use the expression used in problem 2.11 but this is only internal energy not specific internal energy so for internal energy u2 minus u1 we have the expression equal to m cv t2 minus t1 so, if we put the values u2 minus u1 will be equal to m value is calculated that is 0 0.11. The value of Cv is given to us and it is 0 0.724. Temperature rise is 146 kilowatt. So, if we simplify this increase of internal energy is equal to 11.63 kilojoule. So this is the solution of part 3 and this is the overall solution of problem 2.11. Thanks for watching, please like and comment on my videos, also subscribe my channel to get new videos.